Okay. Senator, you have six minutes, Senator. Thank you, um, <coughs> you're welcome again, Minister, to the House. <coughs> Um, as you know, th this debate was, was due to take place at five o'clock, and it's because it was delayed until half five, I'm sure it has thrown your arrangements uh, out of kilter no more than my own, because I have a delegation to meet at six o'clock, so I'll try and be as fast as possible. Um, I'd be supporting, uh, I must support the, the government motion on this one, albeit that I would uh, agree with an awful lot of what, what uh, Senator uh, Zappone has said, because I was at the, uh, the Mansion House the week before last, uh, Flagman, their presentation. I was impressed with the, the presentation made by Emily O'Reilly, and I think there was a lot of common sense spoke. But I think the main gist of what was 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 sought was that we establish an independence appeals uh, system. Now, I actually don't think I'm not quite sure that that is the major problem. The first problem we really have is just initially the delay in dealing with claims, right? Now, for instance, I had a lady that went into a social welfare officer and asked, uh, should she apply for the carer's allowance for looking after her very sick child, or should she apply for the family income supplement because her husband was working? And the advice she got was to apply for the carer's allowance. Uh, for 11 months, she rang them on 19 occasions to see what the status of her carer's application was. And she was, being, she was told they're dealing with it. In actual fact, they weren't dealing with it. Because on the 11th month, they looked at the application form for the first time and they saw that she wasn't getting a qualifying payment. So they wrote out to her and said, you are not getting a qualifying payment, so you don't get the carer's allowance. Now, if they had told her that or if they had looked at the file day one, she would have, could have been applied for the family income supplement. So she lost out on social welfare payment of 11 months there because of the fact it simply wasn't dealt with. And that's the first problem, is that uh, there's a delay in dealing with stuff. Then the second problem that was, um, was highlighted by Emily O'Reilly was the decision making made by deciding officers. And 42% of the decisions made by deciding officers end up with the appeals office. Now, I've always said it in this house, uh, in, in th this type of debate, I have said if 50% of stuff that goes to the appeals officer is overturned, then 50% of the stuff is badly called in the first place. That's where the problem is. So if we take away 42% of all of the appeals that are unnecessarily going to the appeals officer, then we wouldn't have as uh, big a delay in getting the appeals officers to deal with the uh, the uh, decision making. And that's the, the, basically the number of the problem. Um, I do welcome, uh, there, is, there is movement I believe now with the carers section in that uh, all, are, all uh, at the, the, the backlog that existed in the family income supplement section has now been moved as of Monday, moved to Letterkenny to be dealt with by people that are less busy up there than they were because they were dealing with another scheme. And I think 10 or 12 of the, the staff in Longford are now being moved from FIS over to carers to deal with the backlog there. That's only a, a recent, that only happened this week. So look, um, I'd be hoping that we see signs of improvement in the system as a result of that. When the, 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 the issue then again with the appeal system is that we don't know when an appeal is going to be dealt with as was the case with a man that wrote to me or sent me in this the, the other day in relation to appeal, and it just says, due to the large increase in appeals received, some time will elapse before the appeals officer will be in a position to look at your case. We will be in touch with you as soon as the appeals officer has looked at your case. And that's it. So unfortunately, that's where the, the, the overall problems are. Firstly, a big delay in dealing with claims. Secondly, bad decisions uh, being made by deciding officers. And thirdly, then no one has a clue when an appeal is going to be dealt with. So what I'd be asking, oh, just, uh, just one final point in relation to Senator McAneil uh, asking about prioritising cases, I totally agree with them. If there is good reason to prioritise a case, it should be prioritised. In actual fact, I ran the department myself recently about a particular case, and I just said, look, if you don't make a, a decision on this case soon, this lady is terminally ill, she'll be dead. Can you not just pluck it out and deal with it? And in fairness, they did. Mm -hmm. So I think that there is room for, for, for movement there. As regards what Senator he, he Liam said about des uh, cases of destitution, I think, uh, that sh they should be dealt with. Or I think it might have been yourself, Senator, that said that. But in actual fact, in those cases, supplementary welfare allowance is there to, to, to help people. So those type of situations shouldn't, uh, shouldn't arise. But most certainly, it, there should be uh, pr uh, ca priority cases should be dealt with. And finally, in relation to the availability of somebody's file, if they make an appeal, I do believe 
they should have a photocopy of their full file sent to them so that they can see what has happened throughout the process of their application. And it might actually improve the decision making by deciding officers in the first place when they're making decisions if they know that at some stage down the road that that file could end up in, in the hands of the applicant again with their comments and remarks on it. And uh, just uh, to Senator Zappon, as I said, I would uh, hope that she might withdraw her, her motion uh, and maybe listen to the Minister and maybe there could be some moves that we can find common ground because we're all singing from the one hand feet basically. And I'm sorry, Minister, but I soon have to go now. So, Dr. Kelly. Senator